Hi all you Geminis out there, this is Sandy Couture and I am here doing the Astrological Tarot reading for the sign of Gemini for the month of March 2021. Well this month things ease up for us all. A lot of the um, astrological tension that has been going on for a year but especially so much so in the last two months is going to ease up. Mercury is currently going direct um, which makes us able to move forward on projects and communication and thought processes. Venus is in Aquarius, but she is going to be moving into Pisces, which softens that a little bit. And right now we have a really important um, trine that's going on for the next couple of weeks. It is Mars in Taurus trining, Jup trining Pluto in Capricorn. And even though you're not a Taurian, Taurus or a Capricorn, you probably have it somewhere on your chart. And if you have any personal planets in either of those signs, this is going to affect you a little more strongly than other people, but it will affect us all because it's kind of like an energetic, um, okay, it's time to move forward on your desires card. And we are all going to be feeling much more confident moving forward. And personally, on a personal level, you can move forward um, into desires while still keeping harmony with everything around you. It's a really, really good transformational time. And um, my suggestion is to write yourself some goals, decide where you want to go and take some steps forward. Now, Gemini, the one thing you have to be careful of is not making yourself think, 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 think that you have to have all the answers first because you don't. Sometimes you just have to see what you want in the end and then let the universe decide how to bring it to you. So the first card that I pulled for you is the Six of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles um, actually asks all of us to um, take a look and be very conscious of where you're spending your resources. Pentacles are money, but this isn't only about money. We have emotional resources, physical resources, um, spiritual resources, and my suggestion for you, Gemini, is to just take a look at where your all of your energy is going because it's important for you to conserve at this point so that you can move forward and use the use the astrological implications that are helping us move forward. Um, your challenge card, and this one looks like a really horrible card, it's the 10 of swords, and swords are about mental activities. And this guy's got these 10 swords pointing at his back, and basically this card is surrender to the mind um, chatter, surrender, let it go. Um, you don't have to know everything and have all the answers before you make a step forward. Surrender to the process and move through, Gemini. That's an important thing for you. So the process card for you is another pentacles card, but um, this is the knight of pentacles. And knights, of course, were the ones that went out through the gauntlet down. You know, they were the ones who went out and did things. But this knight has kind of overextended itself. So with these two cards, it makes me feel like maybe you've been overextending yourself um, mentally for a little while. And so this night moves more into the physical. So it's about don't overextend yourself. Don't take on more than you can chew. Um, it's time to regroup, surrender to all your mental um, gymnastics and regroup and move forward with confidence and grace and ease. And this is actually one of the best outcome cards you can have. It's in the outcome position in your reading and this is the world. It's basically if you can be careful where you're spending your resources, surrender to the help and to the idea that you don't need to know everything, don't overextend yourself, then you're gonna be in a really, really great place. I think that's a fabulous reading. I wish it was mine. So anyway, enjoy your month of March. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next month.